everyone it's Karen here and welcome back to my channel today I have a brand new tutorial where I'm using recycled materials to create a canvas first thing I want to do is apologize about my hands they're super super dirty I've been working non-stop because I haven't been doing any videos lately I had to deal with some personal issues and I just knew that I ha wanted to get back to this and wanted to show you some new exciting ideas I mean this is not I don't think this is new but I really wanted to create something with recycled uh, materials I, I don't know if you saw a few weeks ago when I did the canvas with the paint brushes and lined them all up so today I thought I could use old makeup containers i've been collecting these for a while some of them are really really old like these um mascara containers these are like samples from lancome lancome that i used to have and i found lip glosses from my daughter's um from my daughter's like a uh, bathroom that she had she had some there i have a concealer i have different shapes of mascara i have some other thing here i don't know i found this one which is another type of lip gloss so i basically opened up all the containers and matched them up and kind of doubled them up put the brushes facing different directions and then i lined them up to create a kind of a really nice canvas around this so i will link the one with my paint brushes below and at the end of this video so you know what i'm talking about and i use the paints so these are the i use the impasto paints for that however today i had a different idea where i wanted to use makeup makeup for everything makeup containers old makeup containers but to color this i wanted to actually use makeup if you know makeup is made out of a lot of mica pigment so things like eyeshadows are perfect to paint something like this and i went ahead and glued everything and you can see all the different pieces and the first thing I did is I painted the background, which this is a six by 12 canvas. I painted it in black gesso. I just gave it one coat of black gesso. I find it easier to put the background first. That way, when you glue things on, you don't have to kind of go in between the grooves, but you don't have to do that. And then I glued everything with the heavy gel from Prima. This is the heavy body gel. And I glued everything to make sure everything is really on properly. I went and collected a lot of different makeup containers that have either rouge like rouge or or eyeshadows or different glitter stuff that way i could use as color to do this but that comes later the first thing i want to do after everything is glued on is that i want to cover everything with black gesso so i put the black gesso underneath and now i'm going to paint everything with black gesso the reason why i'm doing that is because i want to even up the field i want to make sure that everything matches the same i want to have some hide some of the glossy glue from the heavy gel but i also want to make sure that all the containers look the same the reason why i do this and i've explained this in other videos as well but if you're watching this one first then you know again what i do this so all these containers are made out of different materials most of them are plastic but different type of plastics even could turn up differently when you add things on top so in order to even them out and make them all the same underneath I use black gesso you could also use white gesso and that would give you a different effect but I wanted black gesso because I wanted to use shimmery makeup on top and I thought it would give it a beautiful look so I'm just giving it a really quick coat and adding everything to it now the other reason why you add gesso doesn't matter if it's black or white the reason why is because when you're going to add any paints to this or as i'm doing today makeup uh, you can it won't like stick to it unless it has the primer underneath and gesso is basically like a primer so like in makeup when you're putting a primer or foundation underneath your face uh, sorry on top of your face underneath the makeup or the color it's the same thing you're putting that because you want to make sure that the color or the eyeshadow whatever you're putting on top will stick to it so this is the same idea this is the primer that you put underneath paint or in this case i'm going to use makeup and using makeup is great because you can really like you know recycle something that is old that you haven't used in a while and that way you get use uh, some use of it because they use the same pigments 
in makeup that they use to make paint. It's just that they add other ingredients to it after. So I think it's a great way of recycling something. And you know how much I love recycling or upcycling for that matter. I tend to use that a lot just because um, everything is so expensive. So upcycling something that you have at home, at home, it's a great way to creating things, you know, and, and, and getting things done that are a little bit more economical. And I mean, that's the frugal part of me. I do like buying lots of products. Don't, don't get me wrong. And I will list all the products I use today. I mean, not the makeup ones because those are old, but you can just go even to, if you don't have old makeup, you can even go to the dollar store and get some makeup from there, like cheap, cheap makeup because they will work just as fine. So I am going to just finish this up and dry it up and then we'll, I'll show you the next step. Okay, so I actually gathered also other samples, things like this that has color on it. So I'm going to kind of look at to see what I have. I actually don't even know. I just gather lots of things. You see lots of different colors. They're so old. There is um, just lots of different ones. This is like a pinkish. I'm not even sure which ones I'm going to use, but this is, look, a, light, a nice pink. And I mean, these look like they would be perfect. You have doubles of the same ones. But to tell you the truth, it's really not good to use old makeup, even though I'm sure it doesn't really go bad. And then I have some MAC ones even. I mean, these are so old. And I'm sure people would still use them. But I mean, look at the pigment in this one. So I just thought I could at least use some of them and see what happens. So I'm going to like put these on the side. I even have this. This is probably going to be the most glittery one and i'm going to use it kind of at the end or oh, it's even full i probably could use this one still but I'll, I, I'll i use a little bit just to show you how cool it looks so i'm just going to play around i really don't know how this is going to turn out i'm not really sure i kind of want to experiment this is this all dried up and let's put everything up on here on top so I always get drawn to the same colors, you know me, I love the blues and the purples and the greens, but let's see what happens. I'm not sure how this is going to be. So I'm going to just kind of experiment. I'm going to grab a watercolor pa uh, paintbrush and I want to wet everything. I'm thinking wetting will help things because the mica will kind of flow. And let's start. Let's start with the darkest one, which is this blue. I really want to see how then. Oh my God, how beautiful is that? Okay, perfect. So this will work. And you can all like the other thing I could do is actually scrape some of it and actually put it on. So there is a lot of blue here. That looks beautiful. Okay, awesome. So I could do the blue here. And this is really beautifully intense blue. Great. And let's add a little bit of this color over here. Good. Okay. So this is like the greenish. Wow, look how beautifully intense this one is. I added a lot more mica on this one, so I need to kind of blend it. Let's see, this is not even going to take that long to, to actually do because I really have a lot of color here. Okay, let's try this one, which is like a purple. I think I have to poke them. I don't think I can just go and paint with them. This also attests to how old they are and how strong they are. Oh, there's gold here. Well, I'll do the gold at the end. Let's see what happens if I put, I think I put, I need more purple. I almost want to finish this whole thing. So this is, I can even like recycle this later, right? So this is cool. So I don't know. I mean, you have old makeup that you don't know what to do with. Take it out and play around with it. How cool is this? So this one is not as strong. I wonder if the mica is less strong in these old samples compared to the one from MAC, which is that this is maybe to the brand. I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. Let's try with some green. So let's see. 
it is green. So as you can see, I'm kind of playing around. I mean, it would probably look really nice as, on white as well, but I really wanted to try it on black because I knew the mica would like really look beautiful on that. So this is nice, but it's kind of blah. I don't sure if I like it so, so much. Let's try this one over here. So, I mean, I'm sure I can now, oh, wow, this is a beautiful color that is kind of hidden underneath there. Let's see, this is like a turquoise color. I find the Lancome ones are lighter than the ones the ones from MAC. No, this one probably won't work. I wonder if the rouge will work as just as well. But this is a different combination altogether. No, you see, this one doesn't work. So the rouge is not working on the black. It's kind of hiding away. You really need to have the glimmer. Oh, I haven't done this color over here. This blue one over here. So yeah, maybe I'm putting too much and that's okay. Right now it's looking ugly, I know. But I will fix it. We're just painting and experimenting, right? So, oh, this is pretty. So now that I kind of know what colors go well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to paint the backgrounds. So first I'm going to paint a background and kind of mix the colors together. I think I need more blue. It's kind of disappearing here. So what I'm doing is I'm going to now spray on the side. I'm going to wet my paintbrush and I'm going to add more blue. Beautiful. Wow, look how strong this blue is. So this is so far my favorite, but I, you know me, I love blues. So I almost want to go and get some more of my MAC makeup that I don't use and try out the other colors because these are too dull, these purples and stuff. Mm -hmm. Not liking it too much, but this one is pretty. Okay, this one has like kind of a yellowish gold in this. So I'm going to definitely use this one. It's like more like a silverish gold. I'm not sure if makeup people will be too excited that I'm doing this. There's people that are like obsessed with makeup, but if anybody wants to try out with their old makeup, then this is the perfect solution because otherwise you're just throwing it in the garbage. And then I can recycle the containers and get more makeup. So that's what I love about that. So this side I really love. I think I have to get more color. So I'm going to go get some of the... Um, some of my old MAC ones because I think they look more, they look, they give a stronger color. Okay, I seriously went back and got some more stuff. I think this green would look amazing. Let's try it out. Let's see. I want to add some green over here. So really, I'm, I'm using this because it's really, really old. I'm talking like 10 years old. Some of these they probably don't even have anymore. So... I figured better to use this for that than to waste it. Let's see. I think I need more. That blue one so far is like really, really strong. I've bought myself lots of makeup since then, <laughs> but only in this past year I'm obsessed a little bit with makeup. So that's where it came from. And so many new brands are available on the market so but I'm just like kind of want to show you that you can recycle a lot of things that are around your house and use them don't be afraid to use there we go so this is they're kind of blending they all look like the same color I want to put a little bit of purple I was thinking of hold on let's put more purple over here was this the purple just playing is so much fun. No, I think it's not enough. I almost want to. Some of them are not as shimmery as others. So this one is more like a flat color. Let's mix it a little bit with this one. Or with a pink or something. But here, this one is another purplish color that is very shimmery. And then I need a little bit of water. 
there we go now you can see the color how cool is that <laughs> the last thing I'm going to do is put like the gold colors which look really nice but right now I just want to kind of add the purple and I also got this let's see what this does let's see I can put some here I think this is more like a golden color but this is probably gonna be really strong Oh wow, beautiful. So it depends on how much mica it has, it creates a different effect. So I find that putting more on, depending on the color, will like makes it look amazing. So let me just like, it's really hard to tell. I mean, it looks really ugly right now. I'm going to fix it after, oops, no, that's not what I wanted to do. I'm going to fix things. I just want to first um, kind of play with the colors. And I need to put some blue here as well. I need to do the edges as well. So I have it like kind of green, teal, blue, purple, purple, and then like silver. So I kind of, oops, so I kind of have all the colors here perfectly. I just need to make the edges everywhere to match up. So even on the sides here. And I think I'm going to have to turn the canvas around to kind of blend everything. So here I am blending all the colors. It looks beautiful. So I'm just doing the edges everywhere. Another thing you can do, and I thought this was good, I have like old uh, lip gloss, and I thought, or lip lipstick, like this is the liquid lipstick. I thought, huh, hey, let's see how it looks. Let's try. So this is, uh, I'm gonna add some of this to here. Let's add some here, and just add some highlights. I mean you can paint with this this is old but I want to return these containers for a new lipstick so this is why I'm not using I didn't use this for the for the canvas because I want to kind of return it you could also use the sponges to paint with it doesn't have to be this another one I have is this one this is really glossy let's see how it is Oh, look at that how cool but it's only is in the same color I only have like this kind of color so I can't put it in the areas where the purple ones are but what I mean is that you could paint with this you could actually use it to paint as well so that's another thing and I want to use gold I want to put gold on this let's see so first let's use the paintbrush I want to blend everything back and forth just to blend the colors so that way it will look really nice this one is missing a little bit over there this needs more blending so like with any paint you need to blend things okay this still looks really ugly I need to do something about it but let's first add a little bit more purple here I think I need to add the shimmery purple. Maybe what about pink? Let's see. I want to add a little bit of the shimmered pink. I think that might help. Because right now, it's very dark. There we go. So there's a lot of blending involved. Especially because and these are not paints. These are not high quality paints. But they are fun to use. I'm going to put a little bit more blue here. It's kind of cover this one as well. I think it needs just a little bit more blue. Yeah, so I think that worked. Hold on. A little bit more blue here on this brush. I call this piece Ode to Makeup, if that makes sense because that's basically what it is. 
an ode to makeup. Okay, now that I have this, I'm thinking, okay, how can I add now some glitter to this or some shininess? I need to add shininess to this. So I have something like this. This is really cool. I wonder if this will work. Let's try. Yeah. I was going to use this one in the like composition, but I realized it was still full. So I figured I could add it for highlights instead. And I was right. Now I'm thinking we could have should have put some texture on the bottle so they're not as smooth. Now that I'm going back, I wish I would have put some other texture on the bottles, but that's okay. It is what it is. It's just playing with the with the different containers and paints. And I want to try to not use any medium, only makeup. That's my challenge because I would love to just come back here and put some wax. You know how much I love waxing, but uh, not waxing, wax. Okay, I'm going to use this glitter thing. This look, looks really strong, but I'm thinking I should put it on some kind of tub. Okay, I'll put a little bit in here. I don't know how strong it's going to be. Okay, and let's put some water in it. Wet this a little bit. Oh my god, this is going to be beautiful, I think. Let's take a thinner paintbrush. So it's really coppery. It's beautiful. I just don't know if it matches what I want to do. I usually like framing things, but this is too, no, so this is not the right spot for it. Okay, let's see if we could just add some highlights with this to kind of do what the wax does, but I want to make it into like a paint. So if you have any powdered shadow, you can probably make it into a type of paint. Look how beautiful. This is really thick and beautiful. Let's see. Okay, I think this is better. So I ended up putting a little bit of this gold powder here and blending it to the bottom because I felt that the colors were kind of too similar to each other here at the end. So it was just a matter of putting this in and then it kind of brightened everything up. So I am still working on blending things. I want to make sure that everything is blended and you don't see powder everywhere. And you could like turn this into spray I guess as well, right? The same as with the mica. This is almost like mica powders. So I'm blending everything really, really well. This really needs some of this blue here. So I guess the more color you add, obviously, like with anything, the stronger it's going to look. And I will go back with these highlighters, with the one, well, the golden highlight, because I find that that gives it a little bit of life. But I want to, I'm almost using like a dry brush on this to blend the colors. I'll use a little bit of water, only very little bit of water to kind of blend it and everything else kind of stays the same. Now let's add a little bit of shimmer I'm thinking here. I think what I need to do is I need to use this again, add a little bit more, but this time, this time I only want to highlight the brushes. I think the brushes and the edges of the lids. So those were the ones that will just stick out like here and here. I think that kind of will highlight what my idea was, which is to use old makeup containers. I love the best thing is that the texture from the mascara brush really gives it an amazing texture to the canvas. So I think like continuing to blend everything really helps because everything just kind of starts tie it it starts tying it out all in. I'm going to use the 
bronze color to just create an, the edge around the whole canvas. I think that will like really brighten it up. It's almost smooth like paint. It's beautiful. I almost created a paint out of it that is perfect for this. This looks amazing. I love it. Really, it looks weird in the picture. I don't know why. In the video, it looks different than in person. So once I take the picture, I think you're going to be able to see this better. Because right now, it looks really, really like uneven. But when you look at it here in front of me, it looks really cool. It looks really uneven. Maybe it's because my background is so dirty that I can't seem to get a clear picture of it all so i really like this okay one last thing i went to get is a couple of these old like pencils that i don't really use anymore i thought i could use this to kind of create a frame around this so perfect for that i guess i need to continue sharpening it as i go because it gets used up quickly so it's just to kind of add a frame And everything is so creamy because makeup is definitely creamy. So I have a black one and I also have a white one. So I don't know what I'm going to use the white one or if I'm going to use the white one. And I'm thinking I might have to seal this with something because it's so creamy and it doesn't have any maybe even makeup setter would work probably would let's see what the high white highlighter could do so the same as with makeup a white highlighter can like really add nice tones to it so here is it can add a little bit of white highlights to things if you want to Okay, and to add an embellishment, I'm going to add some butterflies. These are the Prima Finavere butterflies. Make this kind of like as if the makeup of his like art is flying. Uh, maybe the other way around. This big one here. And this little one here. It's a very, very simple, beautiful makeup art. And you're going to see it better in a picture because it's going to be all blended in. Like somehow in the video, it doesn't look as blended. It looks like there's a lot of texture, which is nice. But I just find this really, really cool to just use makeup for art. Thank you so much for coming and seeing my video today i really appreciate when you come and join me in my videos and if you have any other ideas what to do with makeup please feel free to leave me a comment i love to hear your comments and i try to always comment back i don't always manage to it's been really busy lately but i'm just really happy that you come and join me and i hope you if you try out something with makeup or with your old container save every container that you can if you do try something out please give me Please uh, tag me on social media and show me. Please share this video on, social, on your social media if you can. It really helps me uh, spread the word about my channel. And I'd love for you to subscribe to my channel. If you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. Look at my beautiful hands, how dirty they are. I love always showing my hands at the end of things. So thank you so, so much for coming. And have an amazing day. Bye.